The Life of Tokugawa Ieyasu. Tokugawa Ieyasu was born in 1543 and was the son of Daimyo Matsudaira Hirotada. Early in his life, Hirotada made an alliance with the Imagawa clan and therefore sent him as hostage to the Imagawas. There, Tokugawa learned military and administrative skills and led forces on behalf of the Imagawa. In the year 1560, Iyasu returned to his family's domain and took control. Nobunaga also defeated the Imagawa clan, and therefore Iyasu allied with Nobuga Nobunaga. In 1568-7, Iyasu's father's death left him as the leader of Matsudaira, and at this time he changed his name to Tokugawa Iyasu. Iyasu profited greatly from his alliances and expanded his rule to five provinces. However, he had to prove his loyalty through killing his wife and ordering suicide of his son. After Nobunaga died, Totoyomi Hideyoshi continued the task of unification. Ieyasu and Totoyomi clashed, but soon made peace and Ieyasu married his sister. In 1587, Ieyasu joined Hideyoshi in a campaign against Hojo, who was a powerful daimyo. Hideyoshi ordered Ieyasu to move his domain to Hojin lands, perhaps to isolate his greatest rival. However, Tokugawa grew stronger due to rich agriculture in that region, consolidating his base and building imposing headquarters in Edo. 1598, Hideyoshi died and had made his five-year-old son Shogun, which is quite a young age. Daimyo started losing trust in the new shogun and starting planning to gain control. On the other hand, Ishida Mitsunari formed the Western Army against Ieyasu. However, in 1600s, his forces crushed the opponents in the Battle of Sekigahara, including the Western Army. Ieyasu then soon became the undisputed Lord of Japan, and in 1603, he was named shogun. Tokugawa Ieyasu had many characteristics of him being a powerful ruler. Firstly, he was not an absolutist ruler. He settled for obedience from daimyos and required that all daimyo should spend a part of each year at his court in Edo. However, if they were not present, they would have to leave their wives and children as hostage, but allowed Ieyasu to punish any signs of disloyalty. He also kept Daimyo busy expanding the castle at Edo, and the castle was the largest in the world by the time of his death. He banned Spanish and Catholic missionaries after they, after they proselytized Japan, and also banned missionaries who eradicate Christianity, after he believing it to be a threat to his power. In the year 1614, he planned to destroy supporters, supporters of Hideyori, who was the son of Hideyoshi, as he was the only potential rival to Tokugawa. To do this, Tokugawa offered peace in return for destruction of the ca castle's outer defenses, however betrayed them and planned an attack and took the castle. Ieyasu then soon completed the unification of Japan and finally ended the era of political chaos. He also ensured that Tokugawa sh shogunate would survive his death, and by, and by doing so, he made his son shogun. Sadly, he died on June 1st, 1616, after returning to Sunpu due to the destruction of Osaka, and that was the end of the great life of Tokugawa Ieyasu. Thank you!